Notice. Aspects of this document have been made inaccurate due to recent events. Further details are redacted. Item number, SCP-6665. Object class, Thou Meal. Level 5 6665 Top Secret. Special Containment Procedures, the Site-01 engineering room in which SCP-6665 was constructed has been converted into its containment area, fitted with all necessary supplies for routine medical and mechanical maintenance. Any unauthorized personnel attempting access to SCP-6665 are to be detained and questioned, regardless of clearance. The continued lobotomization of SCP-6665 Alpha will retain the functionality of SCP-6665 and the Foundation as a whole. One subject designated caretaker will be selected to perform daily medical examinations on SCP-6665 and its components, in order to ensure its continued complicity. Caretaker must perform the following medical routine for SCP-6665. Precise amounts specified are subject to increase. Weekday, Monday. Required medical intervention, beginning of starvation period, SCP-6665 redacted and its chamber are to be thoroughly examined. Blood transfusion to SCP-6665 alpha, type A plus or compatible. Weekday, Tuesday. Required medical intervention, general examination. Weekday. Wednesday. Required medical intervention, plaque entanglement implantation, 3 to 5, dependent on recent behavior, into SCP-6665 alpha, through the use of SCP-6665. Subsequent assurance of proper implementation. Weekday, Thursday. Required medical intervention, general examination. Weekday, Friday. Required medical intervention, synaptic retrogenesis injections, 10 cubic centimeters, injected nasally into SCP-6665 alpha. This will be followed by intense monitoring of SCP-6665 redacted, and any cries that are thought to be heard from inside the black chamber. Subsequent self-assurance that such cries mean nothing. Weekday, Saturday. Required medical intervention, general examination weekday sunday required medical intervention end of starvation period sanitation of any residual nothingness repairs from any coinciding occurrences wiping the eyes and mouth of scp-6665 alpha this routine can be ignored on the dates of july 20th october 12th february 14th and august 22nd on the former two dates, procedures can be performed with marginal effectivity if a chocolate cake with several candles is present. Personnel unable to recall vital and slash or personal information as a result of SCP-6665 will be discreetly given replacement information, their memories are to be altered to accommodate this change. All civilians in contact with afflicted personnel will undergo similar memory alteration to apply the replacement information. Civilian databases will be adjusted accordingly. Any vomiting by affected personnel is to be attributed to common food poisoning. The vomit is to be thoroughly removed and incinerated. NARM 0.0.AIC, the Foundation Grammatical Assistance Intelligence Construct has been updated with additional protocol measures allowing for it to repair data loss from SCP-6665 errors whenever possible. Such reparation, however, is usually futile. Description, SCP-6665 is Project Black Box, which is currently responsible for all classified information redaction in Foundation databases. SCP-6665 consists of a 15-meter tall, biomechanical, conical apparatus, affixed in a position of vertical levitation within Site-01. SCP-6665 predominantly resembles the shape of an orbitoclast, which gradually tapers down from a diameter of 2 meters to a small point at its end. At the top of SCP-6665 in place of a normal orbitoclast handle is a 2 meters tall black chamber of unknown composition. Atop this chamber is a large glass tank, which feeds directly into the chamber's only opening. 
while internal imaging indicates this chamber is hollow, nothing can be seen inside. This nothing is designated SCP-6665 redacted. SCP-6665 Alpha is former Foundation co-administrator Mallory Augusta. SCP-6665 Alpha is in a constant state of being lobotomized by SCP-6665, puncturing through its thought. SCP-6665 Alpha has been integrated into SCP-6665, further details are strictly interminable. Periodically, the tank atop SCP-6665 will begin to fill with a viscous substance from no apparent source, a liquid which is black yet colorful. After approximately one week of continuous use, the tank will be filled completely, its contents are then dispensed into the chamber of SCP-6665 redacted. The chamber will violently vibrate for the next hour, a behavior which gradually subsides. Following this, SCP-6665 Alpha will vomit nothing out of its mouth, which will then become something. SCP-6665 causes the instantaneous replacement of classified information in Foundation databases with black boxes or other appropriate redaction techniques, with said redactions cognitively registering only when the observer is under the clearance level of the obscured data. SCP-6665 affects physical documentation by obscuring information with lines of black ink, which appears as if printed directly into the affected documents. Information expunged by SCP-6665 is subject to loss of remembrance by Foundation personnel, an effect which correlates to security clearance in relation to information confidentiality. While some information can be temporarily remembered through non-Foundation sources, it will quickly be once again forgotten. SCP-6665 is prone to frequent errors. SCP-6665 will expunge extraneous information, such as names, dates, numerical values, and locations, even when such information is not entirely classified. This affects all levels of security clearance, and retroactively alters all former revisions of affected documents, causing Foundation recovery of most of this data to be impossible. Due to this, Small pieces of data are wholly unmemorable by Foundation personnel of any clearance. Personnel heavily affected by this information removal occasionally vomit nothing, which usually remains nothing. It is unknown if SCP-6665 can be disconnected from Foundation databases or otherwise deactivated, as the O5 Council has forbade any such action. Addendum 6665-1, Project Creation on January 20, 2020, Project Black Box was commissioned by O5-2 with assent from a majority of the O5 Council. This directly followed the deaths of both original administrators, Mallory and Madison Augusta, the cumulative result of their respective long and arduous battles with dementia. Upon recovery of the former's body and the containment of the latter's persistence, precise plans for SCP-6665 were created, utilizing each administrator's existing states as the main components of its operation. These plans and their justification were sent to an O5 Council vote for approval. Project Black Box Vote Summary It was all a matter of time. Mallory and Madison were great people, greater leaders. Their bond, it bonded the Foundation into the organization it is today. Peacekeepers, protectors. It's a shame, as it always is, they got old, lost their way, their minds. No amount of love, personal or otherwise, can stop the infernal creep of the minds melding. With tragedy comes opportunity, like a phoenix fueling a fire. A new age begins, one of flourishment for our mighty organization. One where we truly realize why protect is only the last word in our motto. Securing knowledge, containing absolute reality, what need is protection when the horrors are forgotten? Erased from memory? Purged from thought? This will only be the start of the beginning. Our foundation, the test ground for true security, true containment. We can live burning in the light of all past knowledge, while the world remains sheltered in the dark warmth of the black boxes. Council Vote Summary 05-1, Nay. 
05-2, yay. 05-3, yay. 05-4, yay. 05-5, yay. 05-6, yay. 05-7, yay. 05-8, yay. 05-9, yay. 05-10, yay. 05-11, yay. 05-12, yay. 05-13, yay. Status, approved. This is not who we are. This is not who they were. Were any of you at the wedding? I know y'all weren't, I was Mal's maid of honor. Their love was a powerful thing, hell, she remembered Maddie's name long after she lost her own, even if it was in the wrong place. And this, this is what you wish to do with their legacy. This is not what they wanted us to be. Let them rest in peace by letting this foundation strive for peace. 05-1 You're right on one thing, their love was powerful. But if that's the case, why waste such power by letting it rot in the ground? They're gone, one. You need to accept that. These thoughts are for your therapist to handle, not us. The proposal moves on. 05-2 Addendum 66652, Additional Documentation SCP-6665 was completed three months after its approval. 05-2 was initially self-designated as the acting caretaker, and began its routine medical examinations. A majority of these were mundane, showing little resistance to performing the core directives of Project Black Box outside of unremarkable melancholic vocalizations. Several notable examinations, alongside relevant documentation, have been provided below. Report number redacted, redacted redacted, 2000 redacted. Summary, pounding is heard inside of the black chamber. SCP-6665 alpha convulses, resulting in a temporary malfunction in SCP-6665 as a whole. SCP-6665 alpha vomits nothing, which becomes a front door. It opens. Nothing smiles, grocery bags in hand with an announcement. I'm home. SCP-6665 Alpha reaches out its arms. It clings to the ashes. The door closes. It melts back into nothing, which pushes SCP-6665 slightly further into SCP-6665 Alpha. The apparatus regains function. This is cruel, you know it's cruel, I can tell by that smile I see on your face. It's always there now, I know that smile. You may have convinced everyone else, but I won't be broken so easily. 05-1 This is nothing but the elegy of fleeting corpses. The sooner you accept this, accept them, the sooner the world will have the peace you wish for. Beginning increase of plaque entanglement implantation to improve reminiscence impairment. 05-2 Report number redacted. Redacted Redacted, Redacted 20. Summary, after an emptying of SCP-6665's glass container, the fluid is immediately retched back into the tank. This causes SCP-6665 to clog, culminating in the glass container fracturing slightly at its top. A small quantity of fluid is ejected from the tank as a result. Once it has settled to the floor, the colors of the puddle vibrate and strum like guitar strings. A singing voice is thought to be heard from inside the black chamber. If we died tomorrow I would be just fine. If we flew away we would live alright. When I look into the pupils of your eyes, so blue. I see the reflection of me smiling at you. Smiling at you. Smiling at you. Smiling at you. SCP-6665 Alpha attempts to move its arms together. Before they can reach each other, they once again fall limp. The crack is promptly patched without further incident. Residue was reinserted into the tank, wherein it is reluctantly processed. 2. What is this? One just brought this to my desk, this. I remember this, I think. Walking in on her singing. This does not look like death, 
this does not seem like anything you've assured me. 05-7 Eveline, have you ever seen a dead worm on the sidewalk during a rainstorm? They're all puffy and vibrant, hydrated with life. But there's nothing left inside, it's just an aimless mixture of fluids. A false reflection. You're a smart woman, I know you understand. Subservience is slipping, requesting approval for increased starvation periods. 05-2 Report number redacted, redacted redacted, redacted 20. Summary, SCP-6665 Alpha tries to remove SCP-6665. Several cognito hazards are suddenly unredacted throughout Foundation databases as a result. Mal casualties are reported. SCP-6665 Alpha vomits. The vomit becomes a black and white rabbit. The red bow on the top of its head bleeds. The rabbit smiles, nothing else smiles. Voices are heard. Ah! Oh my gosh! Do you like it? Sorry I was worried, I knew you've wanted a pet, dog, rabbit something or other, I didn't. Mal, I love it. Really? Uh, yeah. Look at him, her, it. Look at the little guy. God. Okay, what a relief, sorry. There's no need to be sorry M.A.L., chuckles. Did you really think I wouldn't like such a cute little bunny? I know, it's silly, I am happy you like it. I'll be happy if you like yours too. Close your eyes, we uh, we gotta take a little walk. Laughter. Ken, can I open them yet? Almost there. Jenny helped me pick this one out, got a feeling she was right. Can I? Just a, now. Elation. A, a new plane? Maddie, you shouldn't have, this, this is beautiful. Well, chuckles, so are you, Mal. So are you. Display of affection. Happy anniversary. The rabbit isn't there anymore. The eyes of SCP-6665 Alpha melt slightly. It ceases all attempts to remove SCP-6665. The failure to redact the name of 05-1 is a recognized malfunction. You're wrong too, that fact's spitting in your face. You can shut your ears all you want. This is not peace, not for me, for anyone, they're still there. And for what? So the reach of your hand can grow a tad larger. I know you don't care, I saw the way you looked at them before, the way you signed their anniversary cards. But find a shred of humanity, please, I hope there's still some in you. 05-1 I've been whittled down far too many times in others' pursuits of affection. So many gray hairs fallen out of my head. I'm tired, it's grown tiring. I cannot let this happen again, in hope you find some understanding, somewhere or anywhere. 05-2 Incident Report On Remember, the power to the east wing of Site-01 was suddenly deactivated. All backup generators failed to automatically engage, causing a total power outage for 1 minute and 45 seconds. This caused a temporary deactivation of SCP-6665 and its containment machinations, which caused multiple unprecedented events surrounding the apparatus. A full log of this power outage as viewed from the containment chamber of SCP-6665 can be found below, certain information not viewable in this footage has been supplied by 05-2. Begin log. 05-2 performs the scheduled medical routine, cataloging a higher quantity of plaque entanglement implantation into the computer terminal's medical records window. He speaks into his audio recorder. 05-2, beginning routine medical examination. Everything from here appears as ordinary. Eyes shut, no drool. No abnormalities in that regard, for once. 05-2 scans SCP-6665 further. Mouths open. That's new. 05-2 walks closer to SCP-6665 Alpha. It's mouthing something, huh, let me try and, hmm, 
and try to parse what it's saying. Power is lost. SCP-6665 deactivates. Nothing can be seen. Damn it. O5-2 blindly walks towards the room's site call system, trying multiple times to input the extension for power control before dialing correctly. What is going on over there? Something large falls lightly to the ground. Hello. Ken, can anyone hear this? Guards attempt to enter the containment chamber from outside, but the door has been rendered inoperable by the power outage. Damn it, damn it the emergency power, where? I can't see anything, where the hell's the switch? Nothing whispers. Who's there? O5-2 begins to feel his way across the wall, attempting to find the switch for the containment chamber's emergency power system. A second pair of heavy footsteps slowly trudges across the floor. No, no, you're not, where's the... Retching, followed by a wet thud. O5-2 becomes more frantic. Megane, what are you, where are we going? I love you, SHH, just, just one second. Hushed giggling, a door opens then shuts. It does not sound like any door in the chamber. I can't do, well, what? What did you want? This with, sorry I. I just had to get away from everyone, thought we did. I I was wondering if you wanted to go out sometime, somewhere. Cracking. As O5-2 feels across the wall, it no longer feels concrete, he feels wallpaper. The floor creaks like hardwood as he runs frantically, now disoriented. Out love, what did you mean? Let's be US, well, you're always so kind. Fascinating too, really. Believe me, I'd never thought I'd be so interested in planes, planes of all things. No offense. But uh, well, when it's you talking, I can feel like, like I can listen to it forever. O5-2 climbs up a staircase, his hand knocks picture frames off the wall. Two sets of steps encroach behind him. He is pushed aside by two giggling figures. He grabs a hold of the railing. O5-2, this is not now. This, this is the past, you're both the past. Let it burn away. Let go. The railing is not there anymore. O5-2 falls down the stairs and onto a large bed. Multiple pairs of footsteps are faintly heard surrounding him. The cracking grows louder. Forever, wow, well, sorry, sorry if I talk too much, I tend to ramble a bit, I understand, I do. I do. I love you, there's no need to be sorry, really. Don't worry. Chuckles. You've always been so nice to me, I feel, newer when I'm with you. In a way. Like, I feel free. I feel. I, I feel. Shattering. Hard fragments clatter to the ground. The footsteps move towards the front of the bed, merging together until only two heavy pairs remain. Two feminine voices are heard, what they say mostly unintelligible, besides a single phrase at the end. I love you and two, Mads, and the nightmares will go away. Power is restored to the east wing of Site-01 by engineering staff after physical intervention by multiple O5 council members, the lights flicker on. No part of the containment room is out of the ordinary, besides O5-2 curled in the corner, with his eyes tightly shut. Plaque entanglement injections restarts insertion. The eyes of SCP-6665 Alpha melt in rhythm with the cries of SCP-6665 redacted. End log. Resultant investigations about the outage revealed it to have been an express emergency order, the clearance codes for which are only known to select level 5 personnel and above. Further investigation is underway, although their conclusion has been inferred. Despite her denial of involvement, O5-1 has been indefinitely denied access to SCP-6665 and all documentation pertaining to Project Black Box. Any personnel allowing O5-1 access to SCP-6665 will face an immediate reprimand and reassignment. 
Further disciplinary measures regarding the conduct of 05-1, including possible censure are under consideration. Report number redacted redacted, redacted redacted, redacted 20. Summary, complacency of SCP-6665 is greatly improved. Video Log The following is an informal meeting between 05-1, 05-10, and 05-7 within a conference room of Site-01, recorded on a hidden paperclip audio recorder. Other recording devices placed in the room were disabled or destroyed. The meeting was assembled by 05-1 in regards to Project Black Box, violating her current restrictions. Begin Log a pair of footsteps walks into the conference room, followed by two others. The latter two sit down as the door is locked. 05-10, you know, we. 05-1, I know. Manic walking, small objects are heard breaking. 05-10, didn't let me finish. We can't get you what you're asking for well, I can't, I don't know what else you wanted to hear. 05-1. I know, I, Eva, you saw the file I sent you, I, I. 05 7, this, this is the third time we've had this conversation. Jen. I'm sorry. It's, it's all just too much of an ask. 05 1, they, you know I don't have access, doesn't mean I can't see what's going on. One of my guards, I caught him coughing up something straight into his hand. I couldn't even ask him what it was then, I couldn't remember his name. Ten years, he's been here for a decade, and now. Couldn't even remember his damn name. 05-10, doesn't help your case you know the stunt you pulled, 1. 05-1, I told you. I, it wasn't me. I know what this looks like, believe me, but. 05-10, but what? You want all of us, the rest of the twelve of us, all to believe what you've been saying? Eh. 05 1, those codes, the emergency codes, those ones aren't available to us. Only to the top, to the administrators, Mike, I swear. 05 10, it's 10. 05 1, they're doing something with what little they have left. There's still something fleeting in there and he's hurting them. For his gain. 05-10, his own? We all gain from this. Every damn person in this organization, and especially us, especially you. If we can secure the knowledge of those things we lock up, keep the world ignorant and happy, you know, our job will be much, much easier. Yet it's only our people for now, but think about it, will yet? A world where the monsters under the bed, all them bumps in the night, all are just. 05-1, forgotten. God, I've gotten this same exact talk from two. Do you even, do you just not care? 05-10, I care one, I care about the greater good. 05-1, I've had it with that phrase, the greater good, greater than what? Do we measure goodness on a scale? Some, some arbitrary good meter we've locked in a cell somewhere? Do Mallory and Madison weigh less than than all this? Well. Do they? Sniffling. 05-10, gosh, why am I even here, eh? I shouldn't even be entertaining this. We shouldn't be, 7. This is childish. This'll be the last time I keep this under wraps. A chair is pushed out. The door is unlocked and opened. A second chair is pushed out, footsteps trail towards the door. 05-1, Eva. Wait, wait, please. The footsteps stop. How, how did two convince you, huh? You, sniffling. You were always so nice. The two of them were good to you. So nice when so many people just, weren't. Weren't. 05-7, Jenny. I'm sorry. I. 05-1, he's, he's been nicer to you, hasn't he? 05-7, what? 
Oh, 05-1, I've, yes, I've seen it, he doesn't say your name like he used to. Your pronouns. Oh, 05-7, stop. Oh, 05-1, without the quotation marks now, right? Oh, 05-7, stop it. I, I. Oh, 05-1, you told me, you said I was the third person who you came out to. I think we both know who the first two were. Pause. More sniffling than prior. Oh, 05-7, I've moved on, accepted it. They're gone. They're, they're gone. Oh, 05-1, it doesn't look like you've moved on, I mean, you look just like me, crying right now. Don't you? Broken chuckle. Oh, 05-7, I just want to move on. Jenny, I wanna be happy again. Please. I just, I need to go. I need to be happy again. Footsteps, trailing out the room. End log. Report number redacted, redacted redacted, redacted 21. Summary, on one of the latter two days specified in the containment procedures, the candles of the cake were blown out, despite a lack of any recorded wind. Remaining embers and smoke speak and sway in a coordinated rhythm, until naturally fading. Are you almost ready yet? Not yet Jenny. I'm just I think we need a size down. Another. Apparently. Laughter. Well, we'll see if they carry it in that size, I can. No, no, it's fine. Don't worry, I think I can get this to work. You've done more than enough. Really? I I just need to get back in time for the birthday date. Yeah. Is uh, is something wrong? I'm sorry, it's just I was thinking. 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 About the invite list we all worked on. You both wanted to there, but Matty, he doesn't seem that very. He's an old friend of mine, both of us really. But. He can be a bit dry bit cold, but sometimes. Sigh. Sometimes you need a bit of dry. Or else all you have is tears. Neither of us were are happy, about how he acts around us. I was conflicted putting him on, on the council. Mal brought me back around he's just one voice. Just a drop of dry. We we don't. Maddie. What's? Zipper. The the zippers in my hair. Laughter. Okay, ow, oh, alright, I'm ready. Elegant colors in pale shades of bright. Wow. I, you don't need another size up, this is perfect. Wow. Mal's gonna love it. Hope so. How's the veil look? Just, it's perfect, beautiful. It'll keep her from seeing all my freckles, at least a bit. Hey, do you really think she? You do realize that like, one of the main things she loves about you, well, from what I've assumed, is your freckles. You probably shouldn't hide them. Really? I, well. Pause. Oh, sorry. Mine's going millions of places. It's just, that's kinda like what we do, you know, keep beautiful, magical things, keep them concealed. People may love them, we keep them hidden. I, I guess, but... Were, sorry, weren't you trying to come up with a name to describe, well, just that? The normal we've created, defining out the is and isn't s of ordinary, as if we control reality. Uh, yes. I, uh, I think have an idea. Requesting approval for further increase in starvation periods. Complacency appears to be slipping once again, possibly from the influence of outside sources. Physical or otherwise. They're not even right, not anymore. This is not right. 05-2 Video Log Multiple personnel detrimentally affected by SCP-6665 errors report previously unforeseen side effects, taking the form of false memories. These memories dissipate once nothing is vomited. 
The most potent case of this effect was uncovered from researcher Marvin Kells, who was formerly involved in the containment of SCP-5666. An excerpt from an on-site therapy session detailing his case has been included below. Begin log. Kells, I'm never sure what to say at these things. Redacted, whatever's on your mind. Kells, I, that's the problem, I think, I don't know what's on my mind. Does that make sense? Redacted, well, that's what we're here for. To make sense of everything. Silence. Kells, I had the dream again. Redacted, oh. Anything else of note this time? Kells, she was, bright, the girl with that menstruate woman. Not the smart way glowing. I could still see her eyes, staring still, just the same as before. Kells briefly jerks his head to the left. Kells, I can still recall those things she said. Redacted, what did she say now? Kells, she said just, so many things I think I know. I can recall the things she said, the memories she showed me. Kells briefly jerks his head to the right. Redacted, is everything okay? Kells, sorry, it's just. Silence. Kells, have you ever looked at something really bright, a light bulb, something like that? You know how the light kind of, sticks in your vision. Flashes in there for a bit after. Redacted, I believe I understand. Kells, ever since I looked at her last time, in the dream, she was so bright she's still there. Stuck in my vision. I can see her out of the corner of my eye. She's. Kells gags. Kells, she's still staring at me. Walking around my eyes. Always staring staring at me from inside my eyes. And sometimes. Kells gags. Kells, sometimes she smiles. She. She's smiling, she's. Kells vomits nothing. He staggers backwards. Redacted removes himself from his seat, rushing over to Kells. He steps in the puddle, slipping on white cloth. It drags away as he topples over. The pews are bustling, as the therapist gets up, flower petals stick to his face. As nothing seeps into Redacted's mouth, he staggers backwards, picking back up the ornate pillow. Ring bearer, no, where where is it? I can't believe I lost weight, I know. Therapist drops the pillow. He sticks his hand into his mouth, gagging. He vomits and then collapses, nothing shines brilliantly in the resultant puddle. End log. Video log. The following was recorded inside of the office of 05-7 pertaining to another attempted security breach of SCP-6665 by 05-1. Begin log. 05-1 enters. 05-1, hi Eva. 05-7, it's 7. 05-1, are you sir? Sigh. Been hanging with two, I see. 05-7, 1. What do you want now? 05-1, can't I just come in to say hi? R, aren't we friends? 05-7, we, we're work partners. Not for long too, sorry. 05-1, Eva. 05-7, 7. 05-1, I don't know how the votes, discussions, whatever, how it's all been going. I, what has he been saying? What does everyone think? 05-7, it's. 05-2, 6 to 6. Hard to do these things when you're down 1. 05-2 enters. 05-1, no, no, Eva, what's he? 05-7, I'm sorry. I'm. 1. You're breaking protocol, I couldn't do anything. 05-2, what are you doing here, 1. 05 1, god damn it, you know my name, you both do. You can hide yours all you want. But. 05 2, 
it's just formalities, one. You don't seem too fond of that, formalities. Now what are you doing here? What is it now? 05-1, don't play dumb. Please, for one second, please just be a person for me. 05-2, I am being a person for you. Even now. I'm trying to help you, I'm trying to keep you make you better, steer you off this, this grief. I, I wanted to give you acceptance, so long, so many months, and you still haven't reached that stage of grief. You're still denying. Your therapist talked about this, why don't you go see her again? Instead of bringing more people pain. 05-1, my therapist is out on psychiatric leave. Her friend is comatose, a work friend. But that, this didn't even make her the most distraught. She burst into tears over the phone trying to say his name, remember his name. 05-2, I'm sorry to hear that. 05-1, no. No you aren't. 05-2, I'm sorry to hear that as well. 05-1, no you. 05-1 puts her hands to her forehead in a state of distress, before abruptly continuing. You're impossible too. 2, 2, 2. You never act like a person anymore. You barely did before, you, don't even tell us your name. You're just two. O five dash two, my name? Pause. O five dash one, no way, you, you don't know it either, do you? O five dash two, no, you just. O five dash one, we probably knew it, some time before. So did you? Did, it began with redacted, right? O five dash two, one, this. This is unprofessional. 05-1, no, it's just true. It's true. 05-2, Eveline, I hope this encounter teaches you something. Do I have your vote at the next conference? Pause, before 05-7 reluctantly nods. 05-1, no, I know you Eva, this. 05-7, it's. 05-2, it's seven, to you. Now come along, Eveline. I know you'll make the right choice in the end. 05-2 exits. 05-7, I'm sorry, you just. 05-1, do you, do you even realize what he's doing? Pause. 05-1, what am I saying, you probably do. You're just happy that's he, he's not being himself. 05-7, Jenny, 1, this is the happiest I've felt since they. 05-1, you haven't made peace yet, you can't, you're just like me. Like how he says I am. Can't bring yourself to admit it. Because it's not true yet. Their love was a powerful thing, and it still is. When a love like that decays, when it rots away, all the memories of all the things they did together. It doesn't go easily. It fights. It keeps itself from fleeting. Any way it can. 05-7, you're not making any sense. I need to get going, I need to go. 05-1, Eva, just. Please. More things will be taken to sustain them, sustain their love. 05-7, how do you know? 05-1, I've, I've seen them, felt the fight. We were so close. I think I became part of them. My brain is shooting back and forth, it's hard to think, to breathe. 05-1 rubs the sides of her head. You know what he's doing. He's, he only uses your name when it's useful for him, only calls you a woman when it's useful for him. That sheet of happiness that his acceptance give you, it's, you know it's not real. 05-7, and what if, what if you're just using me? 05-1, I would never do that, I, I would never drag you into something if I didn't think, didn't know it was right. Tell me, really, who do you believe more? Just for one second, see through his, his display, 
through all the empty acceptance, just think. I know it's hard for you, it's hard for me too, but it'll be harder for everyone else too, they'll all be dragged into this fight. They'll all be dragged into their love. Pause. Shakily, 05-7 begins to leave. 05-1, I know. I know it's hard. I'm sure they'll love you no matter what you do. They always have. 05-7 pauses briefly, then exits. 05-1 sighs, briefly looking out the open office door, before exiting as well. End log. Following these events, a hearing on 051 censure was held. 05-7 was not in attendance. Data redacted, enter credentials. Begin log. 05-7 enters the containment chamber whilst 05-2 is overseeing the census hearing. She calls the substitute guards out of the room, and they reluctantly oblige. She staggers over to SCP-6665, stopping in front of it momentarily. She then turns to the terminal, pressing multiple keyboard keys. The full deactivation confirmation prompt appears. She hesitates, now sobbing. 05-2 re-enters. 05-2, what are you doing? 05-7 does not respond, staring at SCP-6665. 05-2, 7, I told you to come with me, I told you I I told you not to talk to her anymore. What did she say now? 05-7 does not respond. 05-2, Eveline. I know it looks bad, these things always do. But I've realized, I do think this would be what they'd want. Really? 05-2 smiles. 05-7 scowls. 05-7, you. Smiling. You never cared what they wanted. 05-7 presses. Enter. Enter. Come on in. Eveline opens the door. How are you? Gosh I have so much to talk about. What is this? Well sorry, I know it's work hours, but me and Mal just have a lot to take care of still, it's hard to juggle this place and they... Eveline puts on a vividly colorful dress. Is this? Hmm. Oh sorry, I should have let you finish, that looks great on you. Did before does now? Yes, Jenny, are you still getting ready? Jenny walks out of the changing room. Eva. I know, right? She, wait, am I being too much? I'm just, excited. Yes, excited. You both look beautiful. This is perfect, this is going to be perfect. Sorry I'm bouncing off the walls this is going to be the best. Flower petals dance. A voice whispers over the vibrant chimes of the church organ. Eva. Jenny spins in her pew, to the face of Eveline behind her. You did it, you. Tears stream, as two dresses stream down the aisle. They are worn in both senses, yet they stay pristine, cascading over settled petals speckling the ground. Over the black spots of the crowd sit the facadeless facades of things that can only be described as angels, yet despite any previous ravenous malice, they sit in a strained calmness. They are sated. As the church organ fades into words and laughter and tears and joy and all else the world could lend to each Savo Rao second, the words of Mallory and Madison each ring, they each ring a bell, they each ring true. Till death do us part. And for forevermore after. A foreign voice to the scenes kicks out from the pews. Skipping the needle on the record, halting the needle sewing two lives together. No, no, what is going on? This, this isn't now, it isn't right. The world needs closure, peace, we all do, I do, we. Madison looks, she takes his eyes into hers, locking them inside, as she has many times before. Her mouth moves in an unfamiliar familiarity. This, this was never what you wanted. I know. I know it's all so hard for you. When you confessed your love, so long ago, it was hard for me to tell you too, probably as hard for you to hear it. 
he cannot look away. But this is how the world is, was, will be. He cannot look away. You're the only one stuck in the past. He cannot look away. Caught in retrospective bliss, the past becomes his only present, stuck shuttered in the closure of a flytrap symphony, orchestrating in the orbits of two fluttering eyes. Eyelid jaws close, eyelash teeth interweave, before they open again to the sight of Mallory. You may now kiss the bride. As they kiss, their lips twirl like propellers in the embrace of each other's folded wings. The pews were alive with floating applause. Nothing is now nothing, as they walk to the plane. Are you ready? I, I won't lie. I'm kinda afraid of heights. I won't lie too Mal, I'm a bit of the same. But we have each other, I'll be here, you'll be here. Anything up there, nothing won't stand a chance against us. Their laughter takes them to the stars. As they fly off forevermore into the oscillating blues of the cloudlessly clear sky, the sun shines like a burning memory. I hope it's nice where we land. <laughs>